everyone, let's begin t test using Strata. So first of all, I'm going to open my file that is already saved. Right, this is the t test dot dta and this file I had opened. A moment I had opened this file. Now you can see here is mine and output. These are my variables and let me open my this file. You can see this file view. There is I would explain you what is this data set and what we are measuring through t test. Let me open this example and in this test now we are we have taken two different samples so that is why we are applying independent sample t-test and i hope you have seen these my videos already uploaded what is the difference between dependent uh, sample t-test independent sample t-test and uh, one sample t-test i had already uploaded videos in spss folder right and uh, you can just go through these videos those have uh, those do not have clarity related to this independent sample details and dependent sample details so in this example what we are taking a study was conducted to compare the efficiency of the workers of two mines one with private ownership and the other one with the government ownership so the researcher was of the view that there is no significant difference in the efficiency level means both are same whether they are under the private owner or government ownership. So total tonnage of the mineral mined by the workers in wine ship was chosen as the criteria to assess his efficiency. So there is 20 workers from private sector and 24 workers from government's own mine. And now it is one, one is reflecting here is we are saying private and two is reflecting the government mine, right? So here is now this is the output. Now we can see this is the output in tons, right? Those they are producing. So same data set I have taken in my SPSS file, right? So mine and output I have already shown you in the data. This, this one is the... So this one is the mine and output. Now all this data I had uploaded. Total observations are 44. So let me apply... Uh, strata t test here. So, what I will do, let me just uh, bigger this size so comments would be clear to you. So, t test, I would say t test file is already open, t test, and there is output. I would say output, right? And comma. So, how we would apply t test by and simply I would say mine. Mine means those are the government owned and private owned mines. A moment I had clicked this, this command, now results are here. So t-test output by mine and there is the, there are the two groups, one and two. Observations under one, there are 20 observations and under two, there is 24 observations. I had already explained you, right? Under two, we are saying that one is the government owned and one we are saying private owned. And this is the mean value, right? 42.55 of the one group and second group 39.125 standard error is 1.22 and 568 right standard error is nothing that is standard deviation this one is the standard deviation that would be divided this one is the uh, this one is the mean value would be divided by the uh, standard deviation would be divided by uh, square root of the observations and there is a 95% confidence interval means we are taking at the 95% confidence interval only 5% that is the error chance. So now we, we can see the values T is 2.677. And uh, there is the null hypothesis. It is reflecting mean 1 minus mean 2, right? So that means mean of the first group minus mean of the second group. So that is equivalent to 0, we are saying, right? So null hypothesis, but alternate hypothesis is saying there is a significant difference uh, between both these groups' performance. So now we can see, yes, there's the null hypothesis difference is equal. So that is significant. That is significant. So we can say, yes, there is a significant difference from both these groups. There is a performance very 
performance varies in between in the bodhi groups right so the, those the, both the groups performance is not at par and this one is the uh, alternate hypothesis when difference is the greater than zero and when there is the uh, difference which is equivalent to two and when the difference is the less than zero so all these things now you can see and degree of freedom is 42 degree of freedom is 42 because we have taken two samples right one is two groups so here is total sample is 44 so 44 this one is the 44 here is what we have to do minus two because there are two groups so degree of freedom is 42. Now, what we have to do, let's say I am going to take a simple one single uh, sample, right? I would take one simple sample. And now you can see uh, this one is <clears throat> t-test, t-test. And here is I'm going to see this one is output, output is equal to 45 let's say this is my this is my assumed mean i just want to compare this so when i click this command now you can see one sample t test one sample t test and here is one sample t test now you can see uh 44 observations and t value is minus 6.3 so a null hypothesis means the actual mean of this group output is 45 that is null hypothesis but alternate hypothesis no this is the difference between whatever is the we are assuming mean and is the actual mean right so this is the alternate hypothesis that is now we can see here is yes actually there is the you can see mean value is 40.68 now is the that means that is the less than 45 and actually, there is the difference between actual mean and hypothesized mean. So, uh, I hope in that way, you could be able to write when I have run previously. This one is the, I have run previously. Uh, so, now I would like to show you what was the results when I have run the same case study in the SPSS. The results were same, right? These were my null hypothesis. Average output of the workers from the mine 1 is equal that of the workers from mine 2. As I said, this is the null hypothesis. But alternate hypothesis saying average output of the workers from mine 1 is not equal that of the workers from the mine 2. And in my case, right, when I have run all these things in, in the SPSS, now you can see these were the values and these were is the significance level was 0 0.017. So how I had interpreted through SPSS also, the corresponding two-tailed uh, p value is 0 0.017 which is less than 0 0.05 but higher than 0 0.01 therefore we can reject the null hypothesis at 5 percent significance level which means that the average output of the two mines are significantly different from each other that is the miners of the two mines do not have the same efficiency and same results i had copied here from strata and that is also reflecting yes there is a significant difference uh, in the output, those are the produced by the two different groups. One is owned by the government uh, government ownership under the government ownership and another one is the private ownership. So in this, uh, we can compare also both these results with the help of SPSS as well as with the help of the Stata. Right. So I hope this video would be helpful to you and uh, stay tuned and keep watching.